Innovative, unorthodox, passionate. A true icon of the game with a towering status in international netball. There are few coaches in any sport that can match the success of Joyce Brown. I suppose a wise group of people sat down and thought, who will we put in as the coach to go to New Zealand in 1975? So I was appointed the coach, which I loved. I mean, I was very honoured to get that position. Nothing like captaining your country but and playing. Second best is coaching. And uh, so to coach Australia with the people who'd gone before was a tremendous honour. In a career spanning almost 40 years, she never lost a single world championship match as a player or coach. It's all above the shoulders in the last five minutes. You're all very close to being as fit and as skillful as each other. But it's who wants it that extra bit. Now, if you can find out so much about your players that you know what to expect and how much to ask of them, well, then it's going to go your way more than likely. So you must go into that, I think, and study it. If you're working with a human being, it, it's a very responsible thing. And they're under pressure, massive pressure at that level. Famous for her quirky ways and sometimes labelled eccentric, Brown enjoyed a reputation as a lateral thinker ahead of her time, whose focus was on the person as much as the player. Each person has, of course, so many different elements to making them up and they're under pressure at various times of their life. Um, and it's very important that, um, that you get to know those people and some of them think that I'm a bit wacky but I would send them poetry or speak to them about um, the latest book. It helps them to understand you more and for you to understand them. It's a great privilege for them to let you into their life sufficiently to trust each other so that when they're under pressure um, it'll help them react the right way and I think that goes over into life too because life is not just a lovely sunny beach. The tide comes in, the tide goes out, there are different undertoes in your life that you must adjust to and so it is playing. It was an approach that struck a chord with many of the athletes that she coached. You would have done anything for Joyce Brown. I admired her, I had a lot of respect for her, so I would respond to what she said. And that was the same when she was on the sideline during a match. If she called out and told me to drive or do this or do that, I would lift for her. She was just, you know, someone that you loved dearly. She was interesting, she was odd. She was your friend but kept the distance, so just knew exactly how to play the role of the coach. You know, there are a lot of incredible people in the game of netball, but if someone said who's the, who is netball, and I, I would say Joyce Brown. As a player, Joyce was captain of the team that travelled to England for the historic first World Netball Championship. We travelled on the Canberra, which was a ship. You didn't go by aeroplane in those days because it cost a fortune, and it was extremely exciting. Didn't know about shipboard life and for some it was full of parties and fun but we did train every morning at 6.30 on deck. Lorna McConkie knew what she was up to so our skills were pretty good. Uh, we did continue to throw balls overboard, <laughs> sometimes not purposefully, um, but we were very fit and we got to know each other because we were on board for three and a half weeks and we had a marvellous time because it was our first touch of seeing how the rest of the world really live and how lucky we were to live in Australia. Brown coached the Australian netball team to three world championship titles in 1975, 1983 and 1991 and held world dominance for 10 years. I love them and they love me and we were very lucky, Annie. Joyce is a member of the Netball Australia and Sport Australia Halls of Fame and was awarded the Medal of the Order of Australia for her services to sport. Netball has been a great experience for me and had a terrific effect on the way that I deal with the individual person and the team. It teaches you how to deal with people, how we're all different under different sorts of pressures. It teaches you to be quiet every now and again, uh, which is hard for me to do sometimes, and just listen 
um, to the other viewpoint. And I, I think that's extremely important as, as you go through netball and life because uh, you learn every day uh, something new uh, about yourself and about other people. It's mainly your relationships with other people. That's what life is. And the people that you coach and are, are prepared to show their real selves, they're the people you love and you hope that you've given them some love through, through what you've done. So... Netball has been very good to me.